sketch the graph of y is equal to phi raised to x plus 2 minus 6. So this is a transformed uh, exponential graph. So always when you have inside the bracket, so let's put this inside the bracket. So th when you look at this equation, this says, from this you should be able to write, this is a transformed exponential graph of y is equal to phi raised to x. This graph, y is equal to phi raised to x, this minus, this plus means the basic, sorry, the exponential graph of y is equal to phi raised to x has gone 2 to the left and 6 down. So how do you write this in a vector form? So you can say this is transformed or translated, transformed by a vector. So this is how you write a vector. So this top number tells you the horizontal transformation. So that's minus 2, minus 6. Okay, so let's sketch this graph. Okay, you should have an idea of this graph. So say when x is 0, y is going to be 1. So 0, 1 is a point. Okay, when x is 1, y is going to be 5. So this is 1, 5. When x is 2, it's going to be 25. I can't plot it. So this is a sketch. So let me sketch the graph. So And this is going to approach the x-axis. This will never touch the x-axis. Okay, so the sketch would look like this. It'll keep going till infinity. Okay, so this is a sketch of y is equal to phi raised to x. Okay, you should have an understanding. And this is your asymptote. The x-axis is the asymptote. This graph is never going to touch the x-axis. As you approach as it takes smaller and smaller negative numbers, this will be approaching zero. Your y will be approaching zero. So now for this graph, y is equal to, so let me write, y is equal to phi raised to uh, x plus 2 minus 6. What's the asymptote? Use your common sense. What will happen to the asymptote? Asymptote will do the same transformation. Asymptote, if it goes to the left, it doesn't go, it's not going to make any difference. So basically, the asymptote is going to be, the new asymptote is going to be x is equal to, sorry, y is equal to negative 6. So basically, this whole, uh, this exponential graph is going to go 6, sorry, 2 to the left and 6 down. So this asymptote basically goes six down. So let's plot these two points. So this, you have to, each of this point is going to go two to the left and six down. So if you go two to the left and six down, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this y-intercept, y-intercept becomes this. This point is going to go two to the left, so one, two and 6 down. So this is 4 down, 5, 6. So the, these are the two neat points that you can plot. And your, sorry, the exponential graph is going to go same way, it's going to approach this negative 6. It's going to go up. So you need to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So what x-intercept is, will be somewhere between 0 and negative 1. So your asymptote, let me write, your asymptote is, this line is called y is equal to negative 6. This x-axis is also called y is equal to 0. So you can say your asymptote is y is equal to negative 6. Let's find the y-intercept. Your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0. So y will be 5 raised to 2, 0 plus 2 is 2, 5 raised to 2 minus 6, which is 25 minus 6, which is 19. So your y-intercept is 19, so this is somewhere here. So this is your y-intercept, and then you have to just sketch the graph. So this will be difficult to plot, so 
keep going up, up, and y intercept. So this is the y intercept, and this is the graph of y is equal to phi raised to x plus 2 minus 6. You can find the uh, x intercept by setting x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, sorry. This point will be around between, we can use, this would be minus 0 0.86 some, somewhere. So you can use algebra or you can also use a graphic calculator. So these three points are enough to uh, draw the graph. So let me draw it. So go to graph and type in the equation phi raised to, phi raised to x plus 2 plus 6, minus 6, sorry. You need to change the scale, so shift F3. I'll go from, say, minus 10 to plus 10. And on Y, I need from, say, minus 8 to, say, plus 25, the scale of 2. So this is your graph. So you go G sol, Y intercept. The next is 0, y is 9. You can go G-Sol, and you can also find Y-Calc when X is 0. That's your X in, that's your X, uh, X intercept, sorry. X is equal to, the, this is your Y intercept. So G-Sol, and if you press F1, this will give you the X intercept. It's negative 0 0.88, sorry, it's not 86, it is 88. We can use log. You can solve this algebraically. So let me show you this point. When x is negative 1, y is negative 2. So you g solve y calc when x is negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1. I'm sorry. It is negative 1, negative 1. What is this point? When x is negative 2, y is negative 5. So let's confirm that y calc when x is negative 2, negative 2, negative 5, okay? So this is how you can uh, draw the graph of, so, uh, of, of transformed exponential graph. So this point is negative 1, negative 1. So I, I didn't plot the, so you have to go 2 across. Uh, from this point, if you go 2 across, I didn't know how, 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 this point is 1, 2, and 6 down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this is going, yeah, okay, so this should be negative 1. This was, this is 1, comma 5, isn't it? 1, comma 5. So if you go 2 across, 1, 2, and 6 down, so this will be, I didn't plot the point correctly, this is negative 1, comma negative 1. And this point is, which is this point, negative 2 comma negative 5. Negative 2 comma negative 5.